Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's video is going to be all about getting my house prepared for back to school. So if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my little internet family. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome to the back to school edition. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super filled with all things back to school. We just got home from our last days of swim and today was fun day, so no more swim. We just went to the fair last night. The girls had a blast, Maxwell had a blast. They all had so much fun. We just got done with our last day of swim for the whole year. So all the kids are like passed out in their seats and everyone's sleeping. They're so tired. We didn't get home until midnight from the yes, fair last see. night. Layla's awake, but we didn't get home from the fair Surprise, until midnight last sleep. night. Oh, Shukri's not sleeping either. <laughs> and we didn't wake up today until nine. So this is gonna be all things back to school. We're gonna be resocking the kids' bathroom with hair stuff, toothpaste, um, floss, ponytails, um, totally hair ties, tells. all that stuff, all that good stuff for back to school lotion and they can get together and just have a nice smooth school morning in the mornings before school. They can get themselves ready. They can brush their own teeth. Shukri's starting to do her own hair. She's starting to do her sister's hairs. We're gonna be getting their lunch supplies ready and their lunch boxes and their little cute sandwich cutters and everything ready for back to school. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I am gonna be starting in the first place, which is the most important to me for a smooth ride in the mornings for my preschooler, my first grader, and my second grader to have a nice smooth morning is in the bathroom. As you can imagine, with a ton of small littles in your home, you could only imagine that the toothpaste drawer is full of toothpaste and hair and who knows what else so I thought it was time for the girls to get new toothbrushes and I got rid of all of their old little toothbrushes there was toothpaste all over the drawer and smeared literally everywhere as you guys no, I have three girls and they are all learning how to brush teeth efficiently, effectively, and make it into the sink. So the first things I'm doing is taking everything out of the drawer and wiping everything down with a good spray of Clorox and a wet rag. The girls are super into doing their own hair these days, especially Shukri Marie, and she is loving doing her hair and doing the smaller girls' hair, so they are spending tons of time in the bathroom, so I did go out and buy all new hair supplies so they could do their own little hairstyles.
I told you guys about these Barbie cups and these two brush kits that I found at Walmart in my last vlog. They were $1.98 and they're super cute. They come with a cap, a Barbie toothbrush, brush, and a rinsing cup. So definitely check out your local Walmart. This drawer right here is all nice and organized. Here's their brushes and their combs, their stuff to spray in their hair ties and ponytails, their stuff to make their hair cute and do their hair. There's more hair ties. This next drawer is their spray bottles, their mouthwash, everything they need to brush their teeth. And then this down here is their lotions and then their little makeup bags. I miss you more when you seem too far away. And you can lay it all on me. Next, I am moving into the kitchen where I want to organize and get settled all of their lunch supply things for days when they don't want to eat hot lunch at school and I can make a cold lunch the day before. We have lots of sandwich cutters for Nutella sandwiches, sun butter sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly to make fun shapes out of them and make sure they don't leak or come spewing out when they are in their Benchco box. We have lots of fruit shape cutters, cookie cutters, all sorts of fun things, ice packs, and picks to make their lunches fun and edible. This Lazy Susan Tina Turner has gotten pretty out of control. So I am first just starting by taking everything out, laying it up on the counter and on the floor, and then I'm going to start organizing everything and putting it back in. There's an imminent storm, it's unavoidable, yeah, but it's only so feel that you see me. During the process, I found a ton of containers that have no lids and a ton of lids that have no containers, so I did end up throwing those guys away. And then there is a bunch that I'm going to donate and make a post on Facebook, see if anyone wants them. And then the rest, I'm just going to organize, put everything in like groups, and stick everything back in the uh, Tina Turner Lazy Susan. A tip that I can give us moms is the good to grow character juices. Save the bottles, wash them, save the caps, wash them, and then the kids will have a fun way to drink their juice. Okay, so my camera died when I was organizing all of this, but this stuff here is all done. This is all ready for back to school. I have all of the kids' um, plates right here, the kids' cups. I have their water bottles ready for school. Um, I moved the uh, bento boxes, the lunch boxes, from down in the Tina Turner Lazy Susan to up here. And then this is my favorite part right here. This has all of the kids' little cute stuff to make sandwiches and cut out cheese and cut out little pieces of fruit. 
I really like using these in the kids' lunch lunch boxes because you can put applesauce in here, you can put you can separate food in here. I'm gonna start making them homemade lunchables and I can put their pepperoni in here or their pizza sauce or whatever and it won't spill plus it's super cute so it's gonna make them want to eat whatever is in here there's more water bottles back there there are some coffee mugs up there I have a little bit of space right here I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in there and then up here is some baby bottles some breast pump stuff and some lids and straws so this drawer is ready Every year I save up and buy the girls brand new hunter boots from Nordstrom's during their um, Nordstrom sale and they come out to like 40 and $50 each rather than 70 and 80 each. And I love to stock up on them when it comes fall and winter time and that is the best time in my opinion to buy them. So the girls do have a lot of hunter boots and they get handed down from girl to girl and now the black ones and neutral colored ones will be able to get handed down to baby Maxwell. I am so excited to see him in his first little pair of hunters. So I am decluttering them, the ones that don't fit anymore, the ones that cannot be handed down to Maxwell. Obviously those are gonna be your girl color ones, like your pink ones. And Sophia is in a size nine, Layla is in a size 11, and Shooks is in a size 13 and one. So anything that doesn't fit or anything that does not able to be handed down to Maxwell is going to be sold. I do all of my selling on Facebook Marketplace and word of mouth through my Facebook posts. So if you are local, if you are looking for Hunter Boots or boutique items or name brand children clothing, accessories and gear, definitely check out my Facebook page. Here is their new season collection of Hunter Boots. These are all from size 9, which is for Sophia, size 11, which is for Layla, and size 13, 1, which is for Shukri. I really hope you got some motivation and inspiration for decluttering, organizing, purging your back to school stuff for your kiddos. Let me know what grades your kiddos are going to be going in down in the comments. I would love to know. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. of emotions, sometimes I'm delighted, don't wanna pick a fight with